Guardian Radio 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. The views and opinions of the hosts and guests are their own and do not necessarily reflect the position of the management and staff of Guardian Networks. The aftermath of every social revolution brings about change. Cultural norms and landmarks shift as our minds and hearts expand beyond the familiar. To everything, there is a season and a time to every purpose in the land of the living. This is our time to renew, revive, and restore the hope lost to the busyness of life. This is our time to dig again and rebuild from the storms of our past on a solid footing that holds. Welcome to The Foundation. The Foundation. Howard Grant's the host, got in radio station 96 right 9, 12 to 2 is the time You can call the show blind Yeah, he educate, he informs He goes against the norm He's really got that zeal Plus, he's a child of God Foundation oh, It's the foundation oh, Foundation oh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio, Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation, on this glorious Thursday afternoon. It's Small Business Thursday, February 8th. If you're celebrating a birthday, I want to say happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You look like a monkey. You smell like one, too. Right? Enjoy your birthday. Have a beautiful time. Out there, whatever you're doing, do so safely. Continue to be able to give God praise for the fact that you are here in the land of the living. Someone talk to me. I want to thank all those persons that uh, continue to be able to support the show. They are none other than Alive, Burger King, Atos Holdings, Bonneville Bones, Foreign Currency, who brings you Burner Boy, Commonwealth Bank, Fidelity Bank, and Ron's Electric. Shouts out to all those persons. Make sure you pick up your Guardian newspaper. We've got everything laid out for you. You can be able to see that exactly what's what. Bail Ack. <laughs> Bail <laughs> The Bail Act changes are watered down. We're going to have a good conversation about that tomorrow. The FNM MPs vote against the Bail Act changes and being able to see those things. Question the status of the Parliamentary Human Rights Committee. You don't talk about those particular things. I see they seem like they're gaining some win. We can talk about this. Talk about all these things. Got a shout out to my good, decent people over at AFS Insurance Agents and Brokers. They got everything laid out for you guys. If you're in the market for insurance uh, for your vehicle, make sure you go down there and check that thing out, right? They got everything laid out for you. You can give them a call at 341-1AFS. They're located at number 407 Blue Hill Road South. They got everything laid out for you. Just ask for my good friend, Ethric Bow. And based upon your condition, in terms of your position, you can be able to get yourself in-house financing. All your jitney drivers, or your taxi drivers, you can definitely be able to do that. Hit them up, 341-1AFS, um, 341-1AFS. Well, guys, we're here having good conversation this morning, and we're talking about something that's absolutely phenomenal. Um, you know, just before we started the actual show today on, on Small Business Thursday, we're talking about these things. Just as before we did that, uh, I, st- you know, I had to kind of ask a few questions about where we were, right? Where we were as it relates to what's happening, this concept and decision. It is the Northern New Providence Secondary Schools District presents the anti-bullying rally. Now, I know you guys would have heard about a few things on some other shows, but we're going to talk about some stuff today. February 9th, Friday, February 9th from 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. at the Kendall they have Lawrence Roll. You get the singing bishop coming, praise God. Dynamite Daisy, uh, get them Reggie. You got Reggie coming yes, too. Reggie, oh my God, you got a Reggie, Reggie coming. <laughs> get them Reggie. You got everything going on there. You got Julian Believe, school bands, and then the Orange Community uh, Committee is going to, the Orange Community, I'm sorry, and so many more. They got all these things out there. Uh, they're going to be talking to you about the informative boots. Uh, you're going to be able to find out more information about the Adolescent Health Bahamas Correctional Center. The Junior Achievement, the Student Services, Zonta Club, and much, much more in those particular areas. Uh, it's going to be exciting. Ladies and gentlemen, today I got the entire studio 
uh, painted orange today. <laughs> I'm yes. excited about it, right? Yes. I want you guys to introduce yourself. Pull the mic for, close to yourself and let persons know exactly who you are and your position on this uh, anti-bullying rally committee. Okay, good afternoon, Bahamas. I am Shannon White. I'm the district superintendent for the Northern New Providence Secondary Schools District. All right, good afternoon. I am Mr. Ishmael Smith, the principal of T.A. Thompson School, the Mighty Scorpions, where if you don't know it, now you know it's all day, T-A-T, -T, all day. If you come around, you're going to feel the sting and have to say, ouch. Good day, Bahamas. I am Antoinette Burroughs, guidance counselor assigned to the great and mighty Golden Eagles. Good day, Bahamas. I am Ian Stubbs. Senior Master at L.W. Young Junior High School, home of the Golden Eagles. Okay, so let's get it started. Let's talk about this because uh, whilst we have a confined time, I'd like to know about this. Mm -hmm. This concept and idea of bullying for Howard Grant didn't start with us. Uh, this was, for me, almost, almost like corruption in our society. It was a mm -hmm. part of what we did. It was a part of learning the lingo mm -hmm. of how to be able to navigate especially in primary schools as I was younger. So I needed to understand how to tell you about your ma properly, right? I came from, I came, I came from government school. Let's just be very clear about okay, this. Okay. I was a red, <laughs> handsome fellow with curly hair. I had, to, I, so I, I had some things I had to go through, right? So this wasn't necessarily bullying for me. This was a part of the lifestyle that I, that I met there that I needed to be able to navigate to get to a better position. How now, in this sort of a dispensation, have we identified in our society, in our culture, what is bullying? Let's talk about that. Okay. So, yeah, you may have had to go on through different ways to tell people about their mind, et cetera. But creative. When, you got to be very creative. Yeah, creative. <laughs> but when you now take it to the point where I tell you I don't want you to talk to my mommy no more, leave me alone, but you use whatever power you have over me to repeatedly and deliberately go to torture. I'm saying, stop, and you're bullying me. Mm -hmm. So it's no longer how we have the mama jokes and all of that. It's like when you're doing things, and I'm saying to you, stop, mm -hmm. and you're not stopping. Has there been an increase, uh, as a guidance counselor in your particular capacity, has there been an increase of um, persons coming into the office to be able to say, uh, you know, I told this person to stop several times. I told this person to do this, this, and this, and they haven't done that. I, that's the first question I have. And the second question is whether or not this anti-bullying concept has anything to do with what we're seeing externally. Let's call it the school environment internal. Within the school environment, you're recognizing that you are now maturing if we don't intervene right now, we're maturing a mindset that a contribute to an external environment, our community externally, to lead to the murders, to lead to this, to lead to that. Mm. Have you seen this uh, as an avenue for intervention? Let's get involved at this juncture now before they get out and do anything like that. Talk to me about it. Yes, I do. For the first question, yes, we have seen an increase, especially after COVID. When the kids who are online, cyberbullying is out of control. That's bananas. Yeah, out of control. Because now, you know, they had the whole... Because, you know, with cyberbullying, I can hide being um, some kind of fake identity. I get to say what I want to say. I hate you in school. I'm jealous of you in school. I can create you to be someone I want you to be to destroy you. Mm -hmm. yes. You know, I like the boy you like. I need him to see you in a different kind of view. Mm -hmm. I'm going to destroy you. Mm -hmm. And online, I can do that. I can take your body post. Uh, uh, an animal so these children can it. read good then. Yes, they, they're <laughs> great. You can't be offended if you can't read. You got to be able to read. Uh, first and creativity <laughs> is powerful. Okay, they're very, great, uh, very creative. And then, yes. Bullying, I tell parents, even when you have the siblings, the rivalries, you have the bigger brother always hitting the younger brother, younger sister. They, the, then that younger sister comes to school, and then they can hit the younger kids in school. Yeah. It is something that they learn. Yes. And yes. unless yes. we put some kind yes. of intervention and we do these kinds of projects and initiatives, they're going to grow into adults who are bullies. I tell people when I'm driving now, and the car, the light is red, I know it's going to turn green. I almost feel pressure sometimes to have my foot on gas just to go. For yeah, because the there are people behind you. 
Get off this lake. But man, it's 4.30 yeah. in the morning. You need to calm down. Right? So, Let's not talk about the car that's going to overtake a whole exactly. stream of cars to come right in front, front of you yeah. and dare you not to hit it. Yeah. My God. So we are creating a generation, unless we do more initiatives like this, where they are feeling, I want something, I'm going to take it. That's how we're getting the criminals. I think we are, in some way, if we don't stop, we breed, we're breeding them. So I say to the homes, to the parents, even with the phone, unless the child has some understanding or conversation about telephone responsibility, they don't need to be using the phones because they're not using it for education anymore. You know, a lot of things have shifted. Uh, you know, I've, I was in school between 81, no, well, 86, 86 and 99. I came into school in 99. And so I get a brunt. We get a, a tremendous amount of discipline that was fed to us. We understood that children are to be seen and not heard. We understood that if we can cuss, you can't let adults hear this. <laughs> we understood you can't walk in cracks. So we had the superstition, we had the discipline, we had all these things. And with the introduction, like you said, of the telephones, uh, it gave them a different sense of liberty. It gave them different access to matured states. Uh, even if it was a time as a young boy, if we're going to look at... Uh, those magazines, talk to me, right? If we're going to look at those things, it was uh, in the quiet and it, you got to go to the store. You couldn't mm -hmm. get the videotape. These children have access to yes, all these things. Yes, yes, it's the yes. same question I want to ask you about sensitivity because the truth is, is that we understood the separation between your ma and your mother. Mm -hmm. When we were young, there was a clear separation between your ma, which was a goat. We understood this. But we can tell you about your goat ma, right? Mm -hmm. But when we get into this kind of a position of your mother, the whole posture changed. When we were young, and I come from 8 Mile Rock, so I understood these particular things. But as the generations progress, and I want to ask you that, uh, Pr uh, Principal Smith, uh, as the generations progressed, uh, do you believe as a result of access to information, we have nurtured a generation of more softer uh, pliable young people who don't understand their strength and their backbone and their sort of position based upon what they've seen, not necessarily who they are. Talk to me about it. Uh, I tell you, let's get a little deep sometimes. Yes. I would That's say fine. that I, I'm not sure that I would go wholeheartedly on that. I am, the access was there at different ways. The, exper the exposure was there at different ways. We've all been here long enough to have gone through the Earth Station satellite dish. <laughs> and then, and yes. when certain people like our good senior master across the road discovered what, where position the satellite dish should be in the sea, uh, <laughs> straight Amen. up, now uh, you're just raising your hand. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I know nothing. But, <laughs> you know nothing about that. But I think what we're seeing is change and the rate of change and how quickly the rate of change is affected by unfiltered access, information and data outside of our realm. Our society has changed. We don't like to say it, but we have a society that's having children younger. And the discussion is always amongst um, groups, especially amongst principals when I speak with them. Is part of it that we're having children so young that when parents are molding children, they themselves have not grown enough to throw out what worked and what didn't work? Are we just throwing out things wholesale? Just have you what you said, you know. Let me tell you why. Mm -hmm. My grandmother would tell me about a time. She was born in 1928. Mm -hmm. She would tell me about a time that she was uh, betrothed, mm -hmm. right? Is that the word? Betrothed. Mm -hmm. Betrothed. Betrothed, yes. right? Mm -hmm. uh, that her father identified someone to be able to marry her mm -hmm. and how she was very young. Mm -hmm. How her participation in the home had to start about 14, 15, mm -hmm. right? And so when you had a sixth grade education, you were qualified to be able to get a job, mm -hmm. right? And so the, I, I want to be able to sort of, uh, you know, address what you said with that. Historically, when we were a sleeping village, this is where we came from. The one thing that was not as uh, evident or, you know, available was the technology that we have access to what's seen uh, around the world. But our great grandparents were out of school by the time as they get 21, they didn't have four children. Right, but that, that's also, and this will take the conversation in another direction, which I'm sure we don't have time to do, right? No, I know do, we right? don't have time. But don't forget in education, once they would have finished at that age, yeah. 
they were then considered and accepted as full adults in the community. So they're now making a living. Okay. As we became better and we became more industrialized, we had more time, we have this gap where we had to school children now or school young people until they are 18. So now at 14, when you expected to go and make a living, like my father was from Bearing Point Andrus, he got sixth grade, barely sixth grade, then he had to go work. All right? He went and he worked. He was a contributing part of the community as an adult. Now we have a period where we have those same expectations on a 14-year-old to be an adult, to be responsible, but they don't have anywhere to express it. So from 14 to 16, 14, we have to be in school from, from age, what, 5 to 16? Mm -hmm. From 14 to 16 now, you have groups or a segment of the community where we're expecting adult-like behavior or responsible behavior whilst they're still children. They now have adult outlooks and they have exposure to what's going on in the world and they're now practicing and they're now, um, what's the word, not practicing, exploring, mm -hmm. all within the context of having to be a child, but they're exploring in the adult space of things in, 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 in a space of immaturity. And so that time to go out and experience life and to grow into mature to determine what worked home and what to, to all right, so I grew up, I couldn't come home. If... I remember one year, I came home with my report cards, I had 1D. The rest were Bs and Cs. My, my comeuppance began from the schoolyard mm -hmm. until I came home. Mm -hmm. And I swore I would never do that. Again. Again. Mm -hmm. I swore that I would never do that to a child. However, there was something in that that's holding a standard. It's saying that you have all of these other grades and these other things, meaning a D here. How are you applying yourself? But for that 16, 14, 15 year old person, if I had a child then at 17, when my child is coming back, ain't no teacher can do that. And if my child bring that home, I'm going to say, oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. We go work on that later. So the expectation, right, is there. It's a real thing. But how we apply it, is different because we don't have the experience once we're having children younger and younger and we have not lived. It's but really a two-hour conversation. Yeah, that's yes, why I didn't yes. want to no, go no, that yeah. direction. No, not, no, no, no. <laughs> not you, not you, not your explanation of what you put. For me, because my mind is drifting because now you're taking me back to childhood. You're taking me back to, uh, you can't count, boy. Bop, right? Yeah. <laughs> you, you don't know. And so I made a promise as a child, I would never do this as an adult. And so this is the evolution of our society, right? Yeah, and but e despite our evolving as a society and we matriculating into adulthood, yeah. right? As, as young people matriculating into adulthood, carrying these, these memories with us, these, these experiences with us, now we have a children of our own. Do you think that this same evolution is that, okay, uh, maybe this isn't acceptable anymore. And that we right back to the anti-bullying conversation. Maybe this isn't acceptable anymore. We should have, I should have never been telling people about their ma when I was young. My God, I can't let mature and do that. And so this evolution, I just want to know, if is that what brought us to this juncture? It is a contribution to it. As um, senior, uh, sorry, Counselor. my senior minister must be calling my name. As the <laughs> counselor says, um, the bullying aspect of when something becomes bullying is the exercising of power. And power in a way that you're trying to do it over someone else over a repeated period of time mm -hmm. to your benefit and to their detriment. Mm -hmm. It's not a, it's not an application of of um, external um, congratulations or external impetus to cause you to do better. It's normally to cause me to be above you. Right. And when that comes, that comes best to me being to say what I can do and what you can't do, and to make you feel less. Right. And so part of that stems over from those very things when our parents said those things to you because you felt less, but you didn't understand what was going on. So you replicate what you didn't understand now, and you're compounding it with what you're going through. All right, all right so if you look at a school. No, I like this. This oh, deep. <laughs> if, if you look at a school, the whole concept of, of bullying is repeated behavior that can be physical, verbal, or relational, right? Boys tend to do it physically, Girls tend to do it by social exclusion. When we look in our wider society, how do men deal with men physically? Mm -hmm. How do women deal with women? They turn their head up and they don't exclude you in the circle all to get something. Mm -hmm. So we know in the schools that that is there. And then when we add in the, act, the, 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 the access to all these shows that popularize bullying, mm -hmm. 
all these uh, whether, whether subtle or pronounced whether yes. subtle or pronounced yes. they're on TV um, they had a whole movie about it when I was younger mean girls and all the mean popular and and they had all of all of a sudden their activity is portrayed in a way that isn't as that is popular or that is positive or less negative let's put it that way less negative because you know, they got all the looks, they got all the things, and you can't be in this group. And, and it's turned into comedy, which is really satire, but we won't go there, which is supposed to show what you shouldn't do. But when we look at it and we don't have the experience to understand it, that is poking fun or, or that is satire, we take that and then we, cho- we choose to emulate that. In and when we, yeah. because we see, oh, that's how you do it. Or, oh, that's how it is, and that's people like you see people like that, and we do it. So that, that negotiation of power, me over you, where I come out and you stay below, that, that is internalized in different ways without the exposure, the experience, and maturity that comes. And we see it a lot in the schools, um, and especially at access to the social media, because there's no filter on social media. Once you have a phone, you can do whatever now where someone is listening to you. When I was home, we still had phones. Yeah. You had to sneak the call to talk to that girl you know was in West End and you was trying to book up with. No, no, right? she, she was in C grape. Oh, she was, and I see that's even <laughs> worse. Just be, just be clear. That, that's even worse. She might have been she, my cousin. <laughs> just be very clear about this. I'm not going to talk about 8 Mile Rock because I got God. some rude in 8 Mile Rock too, okay, right? What is that? And I'm grants to special people in 8 Mile Rock, hey? But, but you know, you, could, you couldn't police the phone more. You know, you know how much people I had to go through to get to home. Yes, I had to lie. <laughs> yes, every right. night. And then this, then this is continuous. You had to lie every night, but but our children are getting access to. They these jump things. right out the window because Cont- they got the telephone in their hand. And and then they see you on the billboard. And now that you're missing for two weeks, I just will be decent when I say these things. Yeah. So so those are the things we see um, coming in, and it is compounded because remember, school is really a, a reflection. Of the wider society. That is true. Yes. All right. It's a reflection of the wider society. So in the schools, what we try to do is create safe environments. Mm-hmm. We try to make people accountable for what they do. But because we are seeing a rise in the complaints, most mm-hmm. of the issues that we deal with that, that I wouldn't say most, a large majority of the issues that we deal with at T.A. Thompson <laughs> is because someone has put something on Facebook. Someone has put something on Instagram. Someone has done some TikTok picture of someone and posted it somewhere for everybody to see. It's out there in the community. They deal with it in the community. They figure they can come and deal with it it's at an school. excellent yes. conversation you yes. have. Okay. Now, not only that, though. This I, is It's excellent. uncomfortable, but now the parents won't come to the school. And fight. To deal with the student. Just guess why. Who upset their child. PTSD. They triggered Mm-hmm. They triggered because it happened to me when I was young. I remember when Rebecca did boom, boom, boom. You ain't going to do this to my daughter in Jesus' name. And then he come there with the silk cap. Yes. I won't be able to talk about this. I want to talk to you about this, Miss Smith, and talk to about uh, being able to amalgamate all these persons within the Northern District to talk about this and, and really bringing them to a point uh, of seeing cohesion amongst various schools. I, I like this. I like this sort of unification mm-hmm. and bringing persons together because... Many times what we do is in a silo. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. So Ape Marok did things, and then it led to a significant competition. Yes. But if we have a shared interest in growing the community, it's important that we identify and pull people together yes. to get to an objective. So talk to me about how your office was able to identify these particular persons, pull them together to execute what you're doing tomorrow. Well, what I love about the Northern New Providence Secondary Schools District is that we operate as a team. So coming out of 2022-2023 um, school year, we met with the new administrators that were recently um, posted to their um, various schools, and we were looking at the discipline data for the, the discipline data for each school. We have four junior schools in the district, four senior schools, and three special schools. So when we looked at that data, we saw that there was an uptake as the council would have said, in the incidences of bullying being reported for last school year. Mm -hmm. So we decided to be proactive. Persons sat around the table and we discussed the concerns, and we also came up with the idea of having a campaign this school year, the 2023-2024 school year, to address the issue, to make students more aware of what bullying is, because some of them, they do not know. It's just how they talk. They just want to get off one person. That's just what everybody else is doing. But they don't know the effect 
the detrimental effect it's having to the person that's being bullied. So we decided to have a almost a year-long campaign, which started in September, and we we all had we all participated in the International Bullying Month, which is October. You know, the color is orange, and we at each school we held an assembly. Some school did other types of activities. They were responsible for doing that. We also had a TikTok competition that L.W. Young won, and we had a, a PSA competition that L.W. Young won, and we had a T-shirt competition that D.W. Davis won, and that's the T-shirt that we're wearing today. Make some noise. So as the, yes, a student designed it. So this is participation all around. Yes, yes. all the internal participation. Yes. This yes. isn't. This isn't. Hey, um, uh, this is what we have. Y'all use this. No, no. This is. No. I need you to create something. Yes. And then make yes. it this sort of a participation that everybody can be involved. Yes. Tell us, because uh, in these last few minutes before we get out of here, tell us what we can expect tomorrow. I see that you have, like I said, the bishop. You have Reggie. You have all those good great Greek persons going to be able to come in. It feel like a, a pep rally. It feel like um, uh, this sort of a rally that they got going on. Um, um, you're going to be able to tell Mrs. Tubbs? Go ahead, go ahead, sir. It is a rally indeed. It is an anti-bullying rally. And at that rally, along with some of the persons who you would have mentioned already, who will be taking part, you mentioned Dynamite Daisy already yeah. and Bishop Lawrence Roll and what have you, we have many others who will also be presenting and performing during that time. We have a number of booths that will be available to us, some 17, 18 booths, where we're going to have persons come and set up to speak to our students, expose them to what bullying is all about, how they should address bullies, how they cannot be a bully and not be a victim of a bully. And some of those boots would be persons from the Royal Bahamas Defense Force Rangers. We have the Royal Bahamas Police Force Cadets. We have the Employee Assistance Program, Junior Achievement, Zonta Club, as we have Legacy Church being present, the Youth Empowerment Program. We, the guidance counselors themselves will have a booth. BTC is expected to be present. The Bahamas Correctional Center, Adolescent Health Center will also be there. Student Development Section will be there. The Kiwanis Bahamas Club will be there. Crisis Center, Ministry of Youth will also have a booth present. And we have somebody who would have authored a book on anti-bullying who will also be present. This is exciting. I feel like um, uh, the one thing that stuck out to me was uh, Bahamas Correctional Facility. Yes. Um, uh, yeah. Look at it. If y'all don't stop bullying, <laughs> right. take them now. <laughs> but, but, you know, the, the biggest thing in all this is what we're trying to do here is it, it is a holistic approach to addressing the matter. I like yes. that. And we, we speak about people who are bullying, but sometimes we don't speak about the person who is bullied. Yes. And part of the thing with the person who is bullied are persons who may have le um, low self-esteem. Like Maybe that. persons who may not have the resilience to say no, but not only to say no, take the consequences that come with saying no. All right? It's easy. I could say no. I can tell you no, I don't want that. But if I don't have the, the mindset to say, to deal with what's coming to say no deals with, I may have to take a blow. Am I still going to say no after that first blow? So it's all about also that, that, that character building to, to put us. When we become resilient, then we're able to stand against the bullying because yes. the person who's bullying is also oftentimes speaking from a sense of low self-esteem. Mm -hmm. Just that their low self-esteem a bit stronger than mine because I have a little something to put behind it. But if we can, as the counselor says, if we can build the character of the person, mm -hmm. if they can become more more resilient and staying no, but also being prepared to deal with it. Because, you know, a student who is being bullied is often someone, they demonstrate those signs, you know. All of a sudden, they're timid. They become shy. They become Introverts. withdrawn. Yes. They become introverted, mm -hmm. all right? Academics but but the yeah. counselor can speak to, to that mm. character building. I want to add one thing to say to the adults who are listening. Let's stop this whole narrative of sticks and stones may break my bones. I feel like it was the biggest lie when I was a child. Yes, because students are coming and they'll say, you know, it doesn't bother me what you say, but That's it a lie. does. And they're internalizing those words. I tell people I used to prefer to get beaten than to get rowed. My God. Because, yeah, because words... But you got a combo, though. You just get beaten round the same time. My God. You got a so combo. So certain things as parents, as adults, have conversations with our young people to yeah. empower them. 
Yeah. Well, I want to thank you all so very kindly. Tomorrow from 9.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m., we're going to be over at the Kendall Isaac Gymnasium. they got everything laid out for you. Uh, is the general public, they, can they participate, or this is yes. only for schools? Yes. The general public can participate. Of course, parents. Yeah. The students should be in school. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> so this is for parents, guys. If you're out there and you're listening, this is great information for you to be able to, I'm sure that you can have pamphlets, you can have yes. other things laid out yes. for you to understand how you can be able to create and envelop an environment in your home and in the minds of your students, your children, about when you go to school, be decent. My God. My mother said, look here, we don't do foolishness like this out there. Y'all be decent in here. I got to be able to take this commercial break. I want to thank every one of you for being able to come out here today for to us to talk about this from the Northern District. And I would love to have this conversation, despite if you're doing it again, if you could find time to talk about this, because I think that this should be evolved into a concept why segregation is not important, why, why we need to be able to, to go against segregation, because this could lead to gang violence. This could lead yes. to some other yes. things. So it evolves into those things. So I want to thank you, but I, I do not have the time today. I don't. But I think you are welcome to come on us anytime to talk about that. Thank you. I want to thank yeah, you also very kindly. Please participate in this, ladies and gentlemen. Tomorrow at the Kendall Isaac Gymnasium, hit me up, 827-0111, and I'll send you a flyer. Quick commercial break. Be right back after this. Foundation. Foundation. Creativity is in my blood. From shoes to handbags, fashion lets me express myself and embody Bahamian culture. My name is Aidan Barrow, and I'm the creative director of House of Assembly. A Lives Liberty Prime Plan allows me to focus on my passion and stay connected, whether at home or abroad. Once I've created something new, I can post to social media from anywhere and get instant feedback. Alive has a plan for everyone, and it's created with you in mind. Alive, believe in best. Burger King Nassau gives you everything you love in a Whopper, plus more with the new Texas Double Whopper. Sink your teeth into two juicy quarter pound flame grilled patties, delicious bacon sliced jalapenos, yellow mustard melted cheese, plus all the fixings you love served on a soft sesame seed bun. Try it in a classic combo with fries and a drink at any of our seven locations. But hurry, because the new Texas Double Whopper is only available for a limited time and only at Burger King Nassau. Wings are here. Popeyes now has wings in five flavors. Honey barbecue, ghost pepper, signature hot, sweet and spicy, and roasted garlic parmesan. Marinated for 12 hours. Hand battered and breaded in a bold Louisiana seasoning. And they're only $7.25 for six wings. Taste some crunchy outside. And juicy inside. Try the new wings from Popeyes now. Love that. Bones, established in 1970, is the leader in men's fashion in the Bahamas. We're conveniently located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza and fully stocked with everything you need for all occasions. Our Harbor Bay location is one door north of Alive with the black and white signage of Bonneville Boutique. Both locations are open from 10 to 7 p.m. Monday through Saturday. Bonneville Bones and Bonneville Boutique, still the leader in men's fashion. Located in the Mall at Marathon and the Harbor Bay Shopping Plaza. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. Found our foundation. Found foundation. Found our foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The 
foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM radio. Howard Grant in your company. They're trying to get me to adopt a school. So <laughs> it's a little bit longer. So the foundation will be adopting a school. We're going to get to the formality of that and talk about those things. But right now, we're going to talk about run. What's it called? Run, running, let me see. running in love. Running in love as we get ourselves closer to Valentine's. I know you guys are going to be doing something special. Uh, take the time out, everybody. Introduce yourself out there. Ladies and gentlemen out there, I got a full house this evening today. Uh, so we're going to be able to talk about these things. Oh, yeah. February 10th, 2024. Uh, they're going to be running in love to the race route is a 5K, 3.1 miles. They got everything from ROIK to Go Slow Bend and Back. You can be able to register now, and it's $60 per couple. Introduce yourself and let them know, let them know what you're going to be doing and how they can be able to be a part of it. Uh, good morning. Good, good afternoon, Bahamas. My name is Marcel Major. I am the owner of Four Seasons Race Management, along with my wife, who I let introduce herself. But we're here to promote our upcoming Running in Love 2 where friendship, love, and romance meets the asphalt. So I'll let my wife introduce herself. <laughs> you know what? I got to smile at this. Where friendship, love, and romance meets the asphalt. I love this, right? But, you know, I love love also, but thank God I ain't love, because, you know, if I had to come run, my God, we was going to get the love to do, right? So I like this. Running in love, too. Go ahead. Good afternoon. My name is Teresa Major, and I am co-owner with Marcel um, of Four Seasons Race Management. And we Teresa? Are Teresa Major, mm -hmm. yes. And we are happy to um, introduce you to our first event of the year. We're um, running in love, too. This is our second event. Um, second you did this time. last year? Yes, we did this last time, same, around the same time. And it was a great success, so we are happy to be doing it again. Yeah. Hopefully you will and your lovely wife will join us this year. Yeah, I'll stand on the sideline <laughs> and she jogged. No, no, no. I love this. I love the idea about this. Now, you said that you have it more uh, succinctly for, for couples to be able to participate in this? Yes. Well, we try to get couples to spend some time together. And so we dub this as a Valentine theme to bring out um, our married people, our engaged people. It's not just for married and, married and engaged people. It's also for um, mother and daughter, father and son, sister and brother, anybody that you love or anybody that loves you. We want you to come out and bring that person, Grammy. You want a pusher, you can bring Grammy. You want a skate, you can bring somebody who, your skating partner. And um, just bring somebody that you love or somebody that loves you. And you all just come out and enjoy the event. I like this. I like um, uh, this kind of a concept. Uh, I'd like you to tell me how this came about, Marcel. Talk to me about how this came about, because you look like a fit fella. Uh, you got pepper, salt and pepper here, <laughs> but you're fit. My God. Talk yeah, to man, me. I'm a marathoner. Both of us are marathoners. Mm -hmm. We actually run about, uh, I'd say about five marathons and countless half marathons. Is that how you fall in love? Uh, it, actually, we fell in love. Listen, running you was exhausted. She gave you water. Uh, this, <laughs> yeah. this is it. <laughs> uh, so coincidentally, we did uh, fall in love from running. Really? We did. We did. We, uh, she wasn't running from you. You didn't stop. Right? She was running. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. But um, yeah, running in love is a concept that was uh, actually coined by our daughter. Our daughter. Uh, we were we were planning our wedding. And our daughter said, listen, man, I'm going to, because we run so much, she said, the theme is going to be running in love. But we never did get to do the wedding theme. So we decided when we started our business that our first event was going to be running in love. So uh, we have to give our kudos and our props to our daughter, Vanna. Vanna, if you're listening, thank you very much for, for being the impetus and the genesis of having us to have this wonderful, wonderful event on February 10th. But yeah, that's the genesis. That's where uh, running in love was originated. And we are excited to put it on because why we are happy to, to know that um, people are just uh, out there just doing anything for Valentine, but why not do something different this time? Why not just come out and do it a healthier way, uh, enjoy the themes, all the trimmings of Valentine, inclusive of the mimosas, the chocolates, everything's going to be there. So it's How are you going to run if you're drunk? <laughs> <laughs> 
How you get run drunk? You need to yeah, stop. You can do it afterwards. Like, get, get afterwards. Oh, yeah, after you run, you, you sweat God. it off, and then you come back and but you enjoy know, something. The... As soon as the women them start working out, uh-huh. and you're running in love, you had a little bit more so. Nine months later, <laughs> no, you, know, no, you got other things to do. <laughs> Thank God. I like this, though. To talk to me about how people could get involved in terms of uh, to sign up to be able to participate in this. Well, we, first of all, would like to thank City of Hope, who are our major sponsors um, for this event. You can sign up by um, going on our website, Four Seasons Race, the word for F-O-U-R, seasons with an S, race management at... um, Dot com, sorry. <laughs> yes, and or you can um, come to Packet Pickup. We are going to have Packet Pickup tomorrow, which is Friday, over at Arawaki. We'll be there between the hours of 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. We're going to have Packet Pickup there, as well as if you want to sign up, you can sign up there as well. Uh- I wanted to hear about what in your packet, but we have two other persons in the studio. I want to be able to introduce yourselves out there. Leon and Dr. Neville Evans. Is, is that, is that good? Neveline. Neveline Evans. All right, introduce yourself. Pull the mics close to your mouth. There are persons know how you can be able to participate in running in love also. Are you part of that? Well, Talk first to me of all, about I'd like to say, well, good morning, Bahamas. Good morning. I would like to say a very special thank you to Teresa and Marcel Major because we are actually the proud recipients of the part proceeds from this really? running. But Leon and I are walking in love. You're walking in love. We're walking in love. Steadily yes. strolling in love. And, and so we are very grateful. Gently jogging in love. I no, like no, no, it. No, not the gently jog. No, 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 no. Walking. I like this. Walking. Just walking in love. Yes, just I walking. like it. And um, so we are... Very, very humble. You, you take the proceeds of what you do and you give it out to charity? Do you give it out to organizations or individuals? Talk to me. Well, Howard, uh, Four Seasons Race Management, the name says it all. We have a race in every season of the year. And the first race is the Running in Love. The second race is our summer event, which is called the Bikini Top Bareback Beach Run. That's fun. I waited for you to come on that one, Howard. Right? You don't want to be back. <laughs> you need no. to stop. That one is going to be in the summer. That's going to be on Gunman's Bay. Really? And then the the fall event, it's a it's called Miracle Miles. That's where we partnered with the Bahamas Association for the Physically Disabled to raise funds for them. That one is going to be a free event that Four Seasons is going to personally sponsor and invite the public out to come and bring uh, cast donation, whatever your heart is led to bring, to go towards the Bahamas Association for the Physically Disabled. And then the fourth one in the winter is our major and our creme de la creme, they would say. It's called the Junkanoo Jingle to Bay 5K. We've partnered with uh, one of our good buddies, Ms. Candice Eldon Wish. Uh, we shelled it, and we've um, formed what we call the Junkanoo Jingle to Bay. That's a Santa Claus one where everybody's um, dressed up in Santa Claus outfit. Yes, you did it last year. Uh, last year, December. Yes. There's us. And uh, so, yeah, like I said, we've decided that each one of our race, we're going to... You've got to come here and talk to us more. No? You, you don't need, you need more than a couple of minutes. <laughs> yeah, we Because really. why? Let me t- I need to know this about and sort of the push of why you're still consistent in these particular things. I know that persons have passion to do some things, but what is the, the overarching objective? What do you expect? Are you, do you want to be able to see the country shift and get into a more healthy perspective with participation like this? Where is your heart in this particular matter? Well, for both my wife and I, our heart is we are, we, we really, we are really gratified to know that we have the, the ability to, to give back. And um, it has like a trifold situation where we are we're giving back, we are doing something that we really love to do, and we're also being able to participate as, as, as runners as well, because both of us are, run, are runners. And we are very gratifying, it's very gratifying to know that by this medium that we can raise funds for persons who are in need, for uh, charitable organizations who are in need, and um, the, the impetus of this is from, we, we both started running many years ago, and um, I happened to have the good fortune of being the president, the former president of the Bahamas Road Masters Running Club. And during that time, I fell in love with race organization and, and, and putting on the race, putting on races, but it was even more gratifying to know that coming from the heart that I was I'm able to assist somebody along the way. And you're also um, a Cupid. 
you out here playing love matchmaker. <laughs> you got people holding hands and running in love. You need yes, to stop, indeed, right? indeed, There's a lot indeed, of things. Indeed, I, I like this. Uh-huh. I li- you see, the one thing that it always stands out to me in society, um, um, when people go off the beaten path, mm-hmm. when they do something you know, contrary to the rhythm that we see in society every day, this is not something that you would see every day. But there is such structure and formality to it that you would think that you've been doing this forever. Right, but I like this, and I like this, and I'd like to know a little bit more about it. So next time you come, because I pray to God you come again, right? Well, Marcel is certified race manager. He he went um, did a course, and he is certified um, as a race um, man, manager. So all of these races are not just his heart. He's put in time and this effort, is business. and this is his business. Yeah, and so. We come together as a team because we want to see the, the Bahamas enjoy the sport that we enjoy, the running, um, the getting in shape, I like the this. exercise, which, and also um, this event is for us to bring people together. We uh, have so many busy lives that we don't, as a couple, we don't as a family, we don't as friends, be able to to get together and do things together. So that's why running in love is like race because we want to see those marriages that come together and do things. We want to see relationships grow. We want to see families just participate and do things together. And we believe once you have that togetherness as a team, as a couple, um, as family, you will see a better Bahamas. And that's what we hope to to do with all of our races, and that's why this is not just a uh, business for us. This is our passion, this is our dream, um, and this is what helps both he and I to continue to do what we do um, with the love and passion that we have. I like this to see couples get involved in something. I keep telling my wife she needs to come work with me to do some things, right? And she say, oh, oh, I can't work for you. <laughs> She lie. I'll fire up at five times. <laughs> Praise God. I love her, but I have to fire her. She round. You can't round the boss. My no. God. But I, I like this and I, because I believe when I see things like this, I always envision myself uh, being able to pour in well after all the children leave the house, mm-hmm. well after we're in this kind of a space that we could still be able to share in something that we can get excited about, mm-hmm. that we could love, that we could be able to nurture and watch grow and develop. I think that it, that's where legacy is. And I yes. want to commend you guys for being able Thank to you. grow something so wonderful. Uh, and I believe that this is going to be able to have a very strong legacy. And I believe that there is sustainability in this space mm-hmm. because uh, what you did and even accompanying you, the Evanses being able to accompany you, uh, who are being able to benefit right. from the proceeds of these particular things, yes. I think it's a wonderful thing. That's where sustainability is. <laughs> yes. Because the, once you give into these things, mm-hmm. it got to come back. My mm-hmm. God. The Evans are cancer survivors. And because City of Hope is hel- is um, sponsoring this event, we and this is Love Month, we look for a, a couple that went through cancer. And both the Evanses have been through cancer. So their story is unique in its own. And so we are delighted as a team, as Four Seasons Race Management, to be able to give back to a couple that we know have experienced this journey and um, is in need of the support. And so it is our pleasure to be able to say thank you to them for being able to accept our gift Mm -hmm. um, and allow us to be able to to use this this part... um, the stage to to give back. Okay, I want to say this. Uh, uh, I want to commend you for your commitment. Uh, I want to commend City of Hope, uh, Four Seats in Race Management, all those persons for being able to do this. If you're out there and you're listening and you're a cancer survivor, if you're out there and you're listening and you just would, would have found out some information that you have uh, a little fight before you to be able to deal with some stuff, uh, you want to be able to participate and be able to forge relationship with companies such as this. Uh, please let them know again how they could be able to participate, how they could come out to running in love. They get their mother ready to go. <laughs> they get their auntie ready to go. <laughs> they get their husband ready to go. So give me some more information before we get out of here. Again, thank you, Howard. Um, we, first of all, I'd I, I really like to thank um, uh, Ms. Tina Lightburn and her staff, Lakeisha, um, at the uh, City of Hope down there in 
Old Cable Beach. So we are very grateful to the City of Hope for sponsoring us yet a second year. This is the second year sponsoring us. But persons who uh, would, would like to participate in our event on Saturday, uh, you can register at fourseasonsracemanagement.com. Four Seasons, that's the word for, F-O-U-R, Seasons with an S, racemanagement.com's website. The cost is um, a mere $60 per couple. That's $30 per person, So, uh, and it's a 5K, fun, run, walk, push. So everybody loves their Grammy. You can bring their Grammy, put it in the push. You register, you and her. You could bring your girlfriend, your boyfriend, anybody, your co-worker. It's not just for couples. It's for anyone who is willing just to do something different. Is there a number? Else. You got a number? There's a number, 804-8595. 804-8595. Packet pickup will be tomorrow at from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. at Araki. And uh, no, no, okay, that's good. I I'm going to talk about this when we get when we get back. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about these particular things, ladies and gentlemen. Here, I know that you can hear the cue for the music being mm -hmm. able to go on. We got to go to a commercial break. I want to commend you guys again, and we're going to give that four seasons race management.com. Find out the information, participate in these things. I want to thank every single one of you for participating and moving forward. We got to take this commercial break, we're going to get to news and be right back after this. Foundation. It's that time of year. Time for the Guardian Media Group's annual Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise Fair at the Mall at Marathon, Saturday, March 2nd. Starting at 10 a.m., admission is totally free. Games, prizes, samples, and surprises are free. So, bring your mom, bring your dad, bring grandma and the baby, and come and receive free health screening, new product info, and sound financial advice. It's the annual Nassau Guardian Healthy, Wealthy, and Wise Fair, happening Saturday, March 2nd at the Mall at Marathon. Join the movement. Foundation. Foundation. The foundation. The foundation. Foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio. Howard Grant in your company, the foundation. On this absolutely gorgeous Thursday afternoon, full house today. I'm very grateful for all those persons who are actually come in. Guys, if you want to be able to participate in this, I want you to give me a shout. 8270111. 8270111. And you know what I found out in the two interviews that we had that we had um, uh, with the district superintendent and all those great persons? We had Shannon White, Ishmael Smith, Anton Burroughs, uh, and Ian Stubbs. Um, is that Anton? Anton and Antonio? I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, right? I'm sure, it's, but it's Miss Burroughs. Uh, I found out is that the fact of the matter is that you need to be able to talk a little bit longer. Um, if you're coming on my show, I know you won't be able to say, hey, come to this thing. But I'd like to know about why. I think the listening audience, my listening audience, all those persons, they need to know why. Why are you inviting us out to this thing? Where was your heart when you came up with this particular concept? And uh, how can I participate after you've already kind of given us all this information? So if you're in that kind of a position, I know that you want to kind of hit the most affordable thing and try to just get out there, get in and get out very quick. But it's very important that you take your time and talk to them about why this particular thing is important. So if you want to do that, you can give me a call, 827-0111, 827-0111, uh, we can be able to set something up very nice for you, maybe not even on Thursday. We find a time to talk about what you want to be able to bring to the forefront. Uh, I want to be able to shout out to my good, decent people over at Accretio Hair Growth. I want to be able to give them a good, decent shout out. Get a head start on your hair restoration journey with Accretio Hair Growth, our eco-friendly product. Products treat hair breakage, thinning, slow growth, and other scalp and hair issues. We've got the best gel, oils, and so much more. Backed by over a century's legacy, our hair techniques treat natural and relaxed hair in a variety of styles. We will fix your crown and your confidence as you fall in love with your hair all over again. Give us a call today at 601-5144. That's 601-5144. Or hit them up at 
802-627-6262. Visit them at your store. Uh, visit them at the store at the Island Plaza, East Shirley Street, opposite the Church of God of Prophecy. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as we always do at this time, maybe we should have had some Kanye set up. Like we always do at this time. No, we should have had some Kanye set up at this particular time, right? I just wanted to say that, right? My producer's like, Howard, what are you? No, 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 calm down, right? At this time, I want to be able to introduce you to a very good friend, none other than Ian Thomas, all the way from Direct Marketers to tell us what's going on in the city. My brother, good afternoon. Hey, 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 Howard, how are you today? I'm good, man. I, I thought you guys <laughs> hard go. Man, I was going to say that, but you. I was reading something, man. I'm not gonna hey, on the way you. driving, you hear some people talking about um, um, anti-bullying thing. And so I thought to myself, what if you, what if you someone suffer from bedroom bullying? <laughs> That's a whole different <laughs> side. It feels like it's encouraged. They need to stop, right? Who, talk to who, me. who do I talk to? <laughs> hey, man, let's carry it on, man. Hey, how I'm straight into this and talk about these type why? Hey, listen here. Um, you know, it's difficult when you have a family member who needs to get to the doctor, you know, go see the doctor visits and, you know, go to therapy and other mm -hmm. necessary appointments, and you don't have the proper vehicle to accommodate them. I'm so happy to be working along with this company, brand new, well, brand new to me, We Care Special Needs Transport. Wonderful company. Uh, they have specially outfitted vans capable of transporting people and their mobility devices. Uh, they also have those automatic lifts for customers uh, so they can enter and exit the buses, buses um, you know, with no problem. And it's ideal for senior citizens and those who are deemed excessively overweight. So they have those lifts to make it so, so much easier. Uh, their entire fleet of buses are equipped to carry up to three wheelchair passengers along with eight other passengers. So that's a pretty big van and bus. So that's 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 an incredible thing that's happening with them. Uh, it's 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 comfortable. It's all air conditioned and everything like that. So um, you, uh, when the the passengers feel really really good, uh, we care special needs. Uh, they also provide their clients with oversized wheelchairs if needed. Family members feel at ease because all of the drivers at the company are properly vetted and CPR certified. Plus, all their vehicles are properly licensed and insured. You have a group of up to 15 people um, coming in, maybe some family members coming in from the island or um, business partners coming in from, uh, you can call them, We Care Transport, and they can collect them from uh, the airport for you guys and drop them off to any destination that they wish. The phone number is 817-8295. That's 817-8295. Uh, plus, the clients love the fact that they can call for service day or night, 24 hours mm -hmm. a day for trans uh, for transportation because uh, the service is, is available there. When you call, ask for Mr. 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 Wes or Johnette with Stacy. I hope that's the right way I'm saying it. Johnette with Stacy. The phone number, 817-8295. 817-8295. So I know somebody out there, a couple of people out there listening and say, you know what, mom or dad or grandparent or even uncle, He's home. She's home. Uh, maybe, you know, they can't get around like they used to. Maybe um, uh, they might be confined to a wheelchair or, or or other means. This company is ideal. They come there. They pick up the individuals. Like I said, they have the oversized uh, wheelchairs uh, in case for, um, for, for, um, for, for, for the more bigger patients. And then they also have um, the lifts that can help um, people who, you know, can't walk to get into the bus and the van so they can go to their doctor's appointments. They can go to the pharmacy. They can go to therapy. It's wonderful because you know a lot of people don't have the car. You know they have the they have the the i they 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 have the uh, want to to carry somebody, but they might just have a little small Japanese car. You know, call these guys. Got beautiful, up to date vans. Plural? One. Is that plural? What's you got, that? You, they got more than one van. You say yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Vans and buses. Yeah, man. It's no joke. It's a wonderful company. It's a great. Uh, it, it, it's a great thing now, what they're doing. What popped out to me? You say we care special needs. Yes, yeah, special needs. Okay, transport. so special needs. Uh, for me is also yes. I know what you mean. Is is also okay. So because I have a cousin, right? Yes. That uh, he had some issues when he was younger. Right. right? Uh, I don't even know how to be able to say it properly, right? Okay. So, so let's say that he's on the spectrum. Okay. And he his issues debilitated over the time. Over mm -hmm, time. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. he's now not necessarily able to move the way that oh, he Oh, yes. But you still want him to be able to participate. You want right. to take him out, so forth and yes, so on. Yes, But you may not necessarily have the proper equipment in your vehicle. Good, good, good. Whether That's it's exactly. a Note, a Suzuki, or right. a Cadillac truck, it don't yeah, make a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't have it outfitted properly, 
You're saying to me that we care special needs transport yes. can be able to do that for me. They can do are that. They 24 hours. They are 24 hours. Let's just um, be very clear. Right. The, now, the 24 hour service, of course, as it gets later into the evening, there's it's, going to be an additional cost. Yeah. But um, but most people want to maneuver during the, the daytime, going to their, like I said, doctor's appointments, church, uh, uh, church um, uh, where, where you go to, 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 to do labs, all these different types of stuff like that. An individual says, wow, um, I got to wait on my cousin to get off from Wakey. I have a big truck. Can we could try to put the poison inside? No, do not hurt your head. Call these guys. They take care of your loved one, and you can also travel with them because, like I said, they have space that's to. That's the first. That's the second question I had. Yes, they have the. Because it didn't make no sense. I drive behind the bus. No, no, no. They have a bit. They they can take um, three wheelchairs at the same time, along with eight um, 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 persons, additional passengers. additional passengers, so they you can do all that at one time. So. So that, that that's now incredible. Now you start to talk about how they are CPR certified. They are CPR and certified. They're vetted and they're vetted. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so you don't have to wonder if some um, 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 undesirable person is working at the company or uh, uh, whatever that is. No, these guys are properly vetted and all CPR um, certified in the event that something arises in in in, in the middle of the so transport. So we could make sure we could be we could rest assured of that when they come and pick up our cousin and so forth and so on. If uh-huh. I need some assistance, yeah, yeah. they know how to oh, assist. What, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. They know they how to move. Arm um, too hard. Yeah, very good. You asking can... the really good questions, right? No, no, yeah. no, no. This is this is training that they you went through. You realize I ask these kind of questions every Thursday. No, no. Yeah, you're very good. I, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm so glad I sent you the notes before I. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, right. I said them no note. Yeah, you good. You got off the cup. And so give these guys a call, man. You wrote down the number, Howard. Did you write the number? Yeah, down? yeah. Eight one seven eight two nine five. Yep, that's eight one seven eight two nine five. Check them out on Facebook. Also, yeah. I'm not sure if they're on Instagram, but check them out on Facebook. We care special needs uh, 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 transport. Great, mm-hmm. great, great company. Also, uh, you guys know that you love seafood. And for those who enjoy really, really fresh seafood, take this number down. How would write this number down? Now, the store number is 341-0734. 341-0734. Then there's a cell number. You can send, um, you can even WhatsApp them your order. And that number is 822-6180. 822 6180 that's Bahamian Seafood Connection, and they're located on Fire Trail Road. Right now, if you go there today, today they have some specials going on today, 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 ladies and gentlemen. They have specials today and from today until Saturday. Then Saturday they're going to introduce a new special that's going to run all next week and until supplies last. So if you go there today, you can check them out. Uh, they're seeing an orange building on, 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 on Fire Trail Road. You, you, you know about today? Hold on. Where the bar see. in the back of the place, right there, where you walk in the middle door, and they got the you, little salmon and conquer this and that. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to call the number. I want Howard to try spoiling that if you go down. Is there this what you're talking about? Check it out. They're on Fire Trail Road. Let these people call. Let these people tell them exactly where they need well, to go. Have the little, they just have the little special on little uh, uh, salmon. Every day, every Wednesday, they got specials on salmon you could buy. Boy, well, listen, yeah, Howard, 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 Howard. You call the number, you find out. I want you call and you find out. You, I would just tell these people. I want them to call right now. Let me tell you what happened. Is there right a local now. an anchor like a, a like a boat <laughs> or like a th- see that here? Yeah. Go on YouTube, go check. Uh, go on um on Facebook, go check it out. I know these people. You see, you know these people right now, Howard. Lobster tails, five dollars each. New York strip beef steak, five dollars eighty five cents. Single rack of lamb, twenty nine bucks. Six ounce salmon, five dollars. Mahi, mahi, five dollars. Cracked chicken, five bucks. Snow crab cluster, six dollars and twenty five cents. No, 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 no. Hold on, let me fix this now. Go. There, they are at the beginning of the same building that you talk about. They cooking. This is actual hot food. This is good food. No. Where they just selling this? The raw food. I want the people to call. Yeah, right. You, you confusing me. Listen, I know you confusing listen, yourself. Listen, listen, listen. You listen, listen to listen. this. You listen to there this description. There are three. There are two in one building. I need to know which one we talking about because I know all these people. I want you to call. Okay. You 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 you, you refuse to call, ladies and gentlemen. Want me to call now? Would you want me to do it now? Go on your phone and call now. Call now, sir. Go ahead. Go see, ahead. see, look at that. People send me a message right now. They say, "Tell Howard, see the location right here, and he they want you." To come that way. Wait, where your name is, Howard? You like to, you like. They to cross move. the street from uh, the battery, please. Boy, I would know plenty. Oh, I would know plenty here. Yeah? I would know plenty. Ladies and gentlemen, don't be like Howard. Call these people right now. As a matter of fact, <laughs> some lucky person, I'm gonna go ahead and and buy the the Valentine's Day special for. Let me finish those things and then I go. I can put the name to buy, uh, to, to so I can get um a Valentine's Day special. Bahamian Seafood Connection. 
I like this. You like the name? Bahamian Seafood Connection. You like the name? That's what it is, right? Bahamian Very good. Seafood. Okay, cool. Very good. So I told you about the Mai Mai for five bucks, the Crack Chicken for five dollars, Snow Crab Clusters, six dollars twenty-five cents, Calamari Rings. Mmm, I love them, boy. They're really good. I got some for my mom the other week. Um, to about That's two the only ago. octopus I like. Calamari. A. Woo. Calamari rings, nine dollars. Snapper fillet, four dollars ninety-five cents. You can get a whole chicken for nine dollars. You can get a lump of crab. That's that's how they have it there. Lump of crab, twenty-seven bucks, and they have um, uh, twenty shrimp. That's uh, seventeen dollars. That is what a great size price. shrimp this is. I know you know. You mean like if it's the jumbo or the or the little mini ones? Mm -hmm. I, that's a good question. I've asked. You give them. me no twenty mini shrimp. No, no, no. You don't get no 20 minute shrimp. My God. No, you get the, I didn't get the big boys. I didn't get the big that, boys. I didn't even enough shrimp. <laughs> Not even enough shrimp for you. you. No, you, I would like plenty of shrimp. And that's their Valentine's Day special. Now, remember, right now, you can go and check it out. This is for the Valentine's... No, no that's happening now until supplies last. All those things I told you. The Valentine's Day special. This is really good, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know what to get for that special person in your life. Boom. Watch this now. $60, give you all this. Single rack of lamb. Two lobster tails, two New York strip steak, one bag of shrimp, $60. Single rack of lamb. So who can cook this now? Hold on. Huh? Who can cook this? Call by someone who can cook. You, <laughs> <laughs> you can't surprise a woman with a raw food. <laughs> Come on. Surprise, honey. You're cooking Six, tonight. <laughs> Howard, that's a what? Howard, you wilding you, out. I, I love you, baby. Howard, you wilding out. You should cook this. Now, Howard, don't fight me now. I like this. Now, listen to this you. now. I can fight you. <laughs> Single rack of lamb. Two lobster tail, two New York strip steaks. My wife like this, by the way. One bag of shrimp, sixty dollars. Yeah, sixty dollars. Get that for your wife, man. We offer our fast because we did fast at the beginning of the uh -huh. year. You remember when you tried yes, to yes, give me yes. some lunch? I told you we ain't uh -huh. eating right now. Yes. Fast at the beginning of the year. Now she won't eat all the hog and cow. Well, she can get a good hand on my God. Do. Well, so, I so now you get me. You're giving me lamb. She yes. loves lamb. Yes, lamb. She, you're giving me lobster. Yes. She loves lobster. Yes. And you give shrimp. And shrimp. And shrimp. So all those things I just said, go down there. The, you get your labs, lobster tails, your steak, your lamb, your mahi-mahi salmon. You get a, a cracked chicken, snapper, calamari. You get whole chicken. You get shrimp. On Fire Trail Road. On Fire Trail Road. I'm telling you, after I turn um, my East cousin. West? This is, that would be West. Yes. After I turn my cousin on to this, she says she goes no other place. Great prices, great service. Once again, the phone number at the shop. Three four one zero seven three four, and they take three, your four, credit card. One, three, huh? And they take your credit card. They take card. your credit card too. Yeah, that's a good. But how would you? Hey, you's a good talker and yeah, some host fellas, man. The, the fellas is, is they won't sell you things, but they don't take credit card. No man, they take cash Ain't and credit card. Ain't nobody take. See someone messaging no me more. right now. They say, Ian, boy. I gotta go run to the ATM to come back to you. <laughs> Times I get there, I forget what I want. Three four one zero seven three four. Three four one zero seven three four. You can WhatsApp them at. 822-6180-822-6180. Buy a Bahamian Seafood Connection. Buy a little sweet thing in a can, one of these $60 packages. You say no. And then right go stuff. on YouTube yes. and figure out how to cook it. <laughs> That's a good one. Jesus. That's a good one. But how you would get every you put everything together. I would now. I haven't talked about this company from Christmas time. And they said, Ian, you're on Howard tomorrow? I said, Yeah. They said, please go there and y'all do what y'all do. Audio Plus. Remember them? Audio Plus. Audio Plus. Audio Plus. Audio Plus. And what's the other company, man? You know the other company? The Hit, Hit Spot. Spot. Yeah, you got it. The Audio Plus. The, you, know, you know, the Audio Plus, um, Audio Plus is, is um, the largest store in the entire Bahamas for all your audio and musical needs. I've been talking about them. They open up Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. They got a wide selection of drum sets, uh, cowbells, whistles, trumpets, clarinets, flutes, guitars, tambourines, and keyboards. So... Someone bet me they were like women women expect things on Valentine's Day and men kind of like don't expect anything. Women, are you out there? Get your guy something if he wants something for Valentine's Day. He might want something from um Audio Plus or Hitspot. Check out these great deals. Show him that you care. Show him that women also want to give back. So like I say, they have a wide selection of all those things, um, uh, tambourines and keyboards and so forth. They also carry audio cables, speakers, amplifiers, and microphones, special discounts for churches, restaurants, and studios on all powered speakers. Their phone number, this is Audio Plus now, 394-6668. 394-6668. Howard, okay, I just started going to say you weren't writing it down. 
uh, 3946668. That's Audio Plus. Now, if you want the number for the Hit Spot, Hit Spot has two locations. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Soldier Road and the other one's on Robinson Road. They're open up from 9.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Now, if you have a vehicle and you'd like to install a car alarm to protect it from, you know, people who won't carry your car, you want to check out the Hit Spot. They have um, professional installers that will give you the neatest possible job at the best price on the island. They've got alarm systems uh, that can be used as sirens. You can lock and unlock your door, screw down your windows, start up the car. And if you have a convertible, it could even drop the top on your convertible. That's the alarm system now. Incredible alarm systems, the state of the art. Uh, so many to choose from at unbelievable prices. And if you want to upgrade or change your sound system, your stereo system in your car, remember they got top brands of um, CD players and amplifiers and equalizers and speakers. You got a Japanese car, but you can't get the FM station. I just got a Japanese car the other day, and it doesn't have the, the FM station. This is absolutely true. I have to go down there and get down itself. They have a device. They carry the device that, should, that they can install and allow um, them to uh, allow you to access all the local stations and uh, all the stations come in absolutely crystal clear and it's all done at a reasonable price and this is all at um, uh, the hit spot uh, also the uh, Yes, this is all done at at, um, at Audio Plus, sorry. The Hit Spot also carries, uh, what else I want to tell you now? You can get those booming sound systems, uh, booming sound system uh, from a selection of subwoofers and uh, that gives you all those deep bass and, uh, and all the tweeters and horns for all your highs that you want. So many speakers in different sizes and brands. Advertising, it's so important to advertise and market your business. So if you have a barber shop, they just brought in, well, over the Christmas time, and they still have some more left. They still have these gorgeous neon signs that you, barbers can put into the shop, and it's guaranteed to drive traffic your way. I want you to go ahead and visit both of them. That's Audio Plus and the and also um, the Hit Spot. Hit Spot is on Village Road and Soldier Road in the Village Road Shopping Plaza, 393-3732, 393-3732, and the Hit Spot. Uh, they're located on Robinson Road at 356-8250, 356-8250. Show your people, show that guy, or even if you have a, a lady and you said, you know what, she has a car, but she doesn't have an alarm system. Go ahead, guys, and and, and do that as a nice as a nice gift. And I know some women may, you, he give me a Valentine's gift, but he put in speakers in my car or, 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 or alarm system. All of this is in, in an effort to protect you and keep you safe. So go check them out. That's Audio Plus and the Hit Spot. Uh, uh, these guys are wonderful. Phone number, once again, you can dial 394-6668, 394-6668, or you can dial 393-3732, 393-3732, or last one, 356-8250, 356-8250. And ladies and gentlemen, if you don't, um, uh, can't remember any of these numbers, remember my number is, you've got it, 5520212. That's 5520212. That's Ian Thomas, Direct Marketers. Like I always say, Direct Marketers, we are leaders when it comes to radio, TV, print, social media, and e-blast. So if you have a business or a business idea and you want to know how viable it is, please feel free to give me a call at 5520212. Howard? You were, gonna, you were gonna say something just now. No, I think this is excellent stuff that you got. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. uh, I really, I'm intrigued about this concept and idea about uh, the we care, uh, special needs transport. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe that our society is shifting. Yes. And understanding how to account those persons mm -hmm. who've been disenfranchised. Yes, yes, that. yes, yes. So this is. I, I, I like how you like it too. Now my buddy just hit me. You and Howard continue doing with the chemistry that we have, and they always say, Ian, I like when you bring Howard on the show. He, you know, he, he adds a... <laughs> what happened? People tell you that they like you when you bring Howard on the show. Yeah, yeah, we bring so a So you're on dynamic. my show. Not the yeah. Marvey. No, yeah, no, like, yeah, like what when you're on my show, yeah. I come here once a week <laughs> and I invite okay, you. Okay. I invite you the rest of the days. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. And when I don't show up. I so you're doing you. a bang up job. <laughs> Kudos. <laughs> Okay. Hey, okay. listen here. You, hey, Forget keep it up. You're going places, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate <laughs> hey, S H S S Electrical. S H S S Electrical. Hey, these guys are another one of my companies, and they are incredible. They're located on Chesapeake Road in the former Minute Muffler Building. Do something to make you feel good. That's what I say. Make your house look good, man. Fix up your house. Get everything you need, all the light fixtures and, and um, the motion sensors and the ceiling fans. Get that. But right now, I want to let you guys know 
They're having great deals going on right now, especially if you're an electrician. You're adding on to your house, adding Airbnb, or you're upgrading uh, your, your panel. You want to get all the Square D products you need, all the switches, combos, breakers, breaker panels, electrical wires, and meter cans, all at SHSS Electrical. Uh, you can also get, ba boom, 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 ba boom. You can also get rid of those um, um, those bulbs that pull out all that, that makes your electricity bill go so high because they have they are the number one sellers of LED bulbs in fluorescent? all the yeah get rid of those fluore, fluorescent and incandescent light bulbs those are the ones see how I would know everything how would you have any of them in your house no you you have all LED no only candles you only have candles yeah you are, you romantic all year right yeah <laughs> that's why you have all them cheering <laughs> um let's go so what I'm trying to say is. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have if you have lighting in your house and you want LED bulbs, go to SHSS Electrical. Don't forget um, 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 what I want to say. Don't forget they got a huge selection of decorative and um, decorative ceiling fans to make any room pop. You want all the light fixtures you need. You want to go down there, especially those equipped with outdoor motion sensors. You want motion sensors so when people walk in your yard, the light come right on. Boom! Then when they walk out, it can go off. So your light ain't burning all night. Those are great. All the security lights you, that you want. And I want to let you know that the security lights that they sell, all the lights that they sell, come with LED bulbs, so you have nothing to worry about. Everyone agrees that upgrading the lights in and around your house can make a tremendous difference. And uh, since your home and your, uh, uh, no, sorry, since your home is your most valuable asset, why not treat yourself to an inexpensive upgrade? Customers spending 50 bucks or more, you guys receive 10% discount, and they also ship to the family island. So what's the number to SHSS Electrical, you may ask? The phone number is 605-7777, 605-7777. Or you can dial 605-7477, 605-7477. Where are they located? They're in the Chesapeake Road, um, Chesapeake Road in the former Minute Muffler Building. This is the store family that everyone knows about, uh, but they're, they're not occupied occupying the Henry F. Store building anymore on Mackey Street. They've moved to a, a bigger location, uh, easier for them to serve you. And this is on Chesapeake Road in the former Minute Muffler building. I love this company. I love them. The Store family, you guys are doing a great job. And hey, I just want you to continue doing what you're doing. Are we looking on time, Howard? We got four minutes to get out of here. We got four minutes to get up out this joint, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, well, I might as well just go straight on and tell you about this. Hey, Howard, I got a great deal on a massage chair. You need a massage chair. You do a you do a great job. You're here all day. Well, well you're here for a great uh, time of the day. And you're sitting up here and boom, you want to go home and relax. So let your wife go home, sit down and relax. Got a wonderful massage chair. I'm having uh, a ghost problem in my house. Right. Oh, all I'm trying to be fighting over it. They want to sit in my chair. Yes. This is the daddy chair. Howard, you need to treat yourself or your wife to this gorgeous relaxing massage chair. Gorgeous and relaxing zero gravity massage chair. Zero mas gravity. Yes, sir? you know it's zero gravity, right? Did NASA make this chair? No, that's when the chair goes all the way back. Okay. Yeah, it's still massaging you, so it massages your neck, your back, your shoulders, your hips, your legs, and your feet simultaneously. You can touch the screen, and um, and you can a screen on the chair. And there's a screen on it. To a fancy all, all, chair? all the different um, all the different um areas that you want to address. I never seen and a screen also on the Bluetooth. Mall and, 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 and my it habit. also has Bluetooth, so you can listen to your music. Bluetooth on the yep, chair? Yep, and your, and your phone goes straight through the speakers in the phone, in the chair, and you can listen to it. It's incredible. It's a I've world unto itself. Yeah, I've got one. I love it. I fell asleep in mine last <laughs> night. I went to bed like 8 o'clock after, after I got a massage. I went to bed, and I, I went to like from 8 o'clock. I love my massage chair. This is like the second one I have. So if you want this, give me a call at 552-0212. 5520212. The chair is only $2195, 2195 bucks. It's a wonderful chair. You would love it. Also, I want to tell you um, great deal on a 70 inch 4K um, Samsung smart television. Right now, that's $1250. $1,250. You want to treat yourself to a monster television? Get yourself this beautiful 70-inch 4K Samsung smart television right now for $1,250. Give me a call at 5520212, 5520212. Also, people have been calling me about those um, inflatable beds. You know what I mean? Need extra bed when you have a guest coming by, someone spending the night? You can order this strong, durable, and inflatable air mattress. Now on sale for only $250. They got two versions. One is $275. Bucks. The other one is $250. It comes with the power cord. You don't have to go look for something to, to blow it up. There's a power cord. You plug it in, Howard. You press a button, and the bed inflates itself. So this is great if you is have people coming by. Is it good durable? I bought strong, no, strong, let's, let's strong, clear. man. Let's be clear about this. Strong, man. Listen, go listen ahead. 
I got way too much children. This could hold your children. I will be my, Go ahead. My, I bought four of them over the course of five years. Those are the cheap ones. Yeah, they cost like 40 bucks. Yeah, you, they probably had an external pump. Yeah. This one has a built-in Mike pump. Sharon, you just tap nah. it and go. Ha, ha, ha. Is that he stupid? Boof. You Boy, set it and forget it. My nephews, they love it. I, want I, put, I set it up the in the, in the living the room, or I put it on the back on the on the grass, and my li- my nephews, them, they go ahead and they go and they chill out on it. On and the they grass eat their too? Oh, that's a good it, one. Yeah, yeah. I put it on the grass, and they love it. They chill outside. They say, get out of my house. I don't understand. My children just, is, me just sweep in is this room. their cousins to come stay by me. Yeah, Are you serious? I have no place for the people to sleep. No place. <laughs> You didn't voice the bed. You didn't voice the bed. But listen, yeah. Also, I want to tell you about the Echo Dot. You know, Alexa, turn on the lights. Alexa, play this song. You want Alexa, the Amazon Echo Dot? It's the fifth generation. It's a speaker with Alexa in it. You can pay 55 bucks. Give me a call, 5520212, 5520212. Get yourself an Alexa. Uh, it's only 55 bucks. That's a great um, Valentine's Day gift, don't you think so? Really? You want to get someone Alexa? I think this is a good one. Yeah, man. Yeah, I use my Alexa oh, every him time. A, get him an actual Alexa. Yeah, get him an Alexa, yeah. An actual I, one. Okay, in the morning time, I'm there. I go like this. Um, Alexa, remind me to go to Howard at, at 1 o'clock. And Alexa reminds me like at about 12.30. I have an Alexa. You have an Alexa, yeah. I mean, no. Even I mean, when I'm cooking. A human Alexa. Oh, jeepers, creepers. I tell my wife, hey, baby, don't let me get this something. <laughs> Yeah, you might call it an Avexma. No, 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 she can vex me. Use Avexma. <laughs> hey, listen, yeah. Also, I talked about this before. You know, BC has those power surges coming straight into your house. When the power goes out, they come back with so much force. When power outages um, arise, you don't want to blow your electronics and your appliances in your house. And also, those um, surges coming to your house, they can cause a fire. Don't leave your valuables vulnerable. Get yourself a whole house surge protected today. It regulates the voltage coming into your building from the power company. It's only $139. It's a whole house surge protector. If you have those small surge protectors in your house, that's great. This is a better um, defense against all that electricity just coming in at one time. Give me a call, 5520212. Get yourself the um, the whole house surge protector. It's only $139. It's going to save you thousands and thousands of dollars. I see you smiling. Would you smile on that, buddy? These people text me in decency. All kind of stuff, eh? Yeah. You know why? Because Valentine's Day is coming up, and some of them want to purchase the Someone rose. Someone text me and say, how I could get the Valentine's gift from the Heyman Seafood Connection. WhatsApp me and WhatsApp the company. WhatsApp him, 5520212. 5520212. They want to be able to know about these things. Yes. Well, Ian, we are flat out of time. We're flat out of time. I want to thank you so very kindly for being able to do this. A few things I just want to run over with you guys again. And being able to talk about that, we care special needs transport. You want to be able to reach out to them, 817-8295, 817-8295, Bahamian Seafood Connection, 3410734, 3410734, or 822-6180, Audio Plus, they got all the information right there. Hit them up, 394-6668, 394-6668, or hit them up, 356-8520. Also, SHSS Electrical and Chesapeake Road, they got everything laid out for you. 605 trip quadruple seven, 605 77 77 or 74 77. Go win your, get your, did he say, did I say win? What's that? Win your 70 inch television. Yeah, you could win a 70 inch television. Yeah, win it, buy it. Win, win it for $1,200? Oh, 1250 do, do you have like, do you have like a, um, uh, do you take like uh, credits? Yeah, yeah. You Do come you take there. stamps? The stamps. Take stamps. Yeah. Come right in and get <laughs> somebody. Can I pay you in bitcoins? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can I pay an IOU? Right, guys. You get everything there. Make sure you get that. You can also get an inflatable bed. Your Amazon Echo Dot or your generator surge protector. You want to be able to do that or your surge protector for your home. Yeah, Sorry, house, you can be able to get that. All right. Uh, give you a call five five two zero two one two five five two zero two one two. I see you guys. We're going to be out of here. Take a quick commercial break and be right back after this. Born in Camp Road, man, I stood up the block. Great on TikTok, every word that I talk. In the beam of screaming, I'm waking them up. Total shock, I can rock any place that you 
got Cowbells and goats, kids are back in the mall Whistleblower, my flow the most vicious of all Heels clicking, I'm tripping like the Wizard of Oz Ain't no place like this place, tell you come not saw Nah, saw ain't real, boy Nah, saw ain't no real place I say, nah, saw ain't real, boy Nah, saw ain't no real place In nah, saw, you can get naughty for 40 Shorty will shake that body, just show her the money Milk and honey, none of my chicks is ugly This place is my home, this place is so lovely Top of the cabin, top of the down This place is my home, this place is so lovely Top of the cabin, top of the Nah, so ain't real, boy. Nah, so ain't no real place. I say, nah, so ain't real, boy. Nah, so ain't no real place. Foreign Currency brings you the, the African, African Giant. 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 Live in concert. Burn a boy. Burn a boy performing live. Saturday, February 17th, taking place at Clifford Bar with Burn a boy performing live. Also, also performing Rich Homie Kwan, Kwan. Kwan. Yeah. 38 Afri Joe Capone Bank Civelli Rati Pinder Bloody Fat Shot Puzzle Judah the Lion And Jay Shepard Hosted by Natural Empress Rika C Pencil And Aaron Ray Music by the country's top DJs Overdose DJ Tag DJ Hennessy DJ Matt Bull AJ Unruly DJ Melody Spilling Again 2024 Saturday February 17th At Clifford Park With Burna Boy Get tickets now The name of the game is to be on the scene Tired of banks forcing you to use technology to bank the way they want you to? Your convenience is important. So no matter what your banking needs, Commonwealth Bank's friendly staff are always available in brand for personal one-on-one -on -one service. But when you choose technology, our online and mobile banking app offers you state-of-the-art functionality. The choice is yours. Commonwealth Bank. Bank the way you want. This is Guardian Radio, 96.9 FM. Fresh news, smart talk, all day. Foundation. Foundation. The Foundation. Foundation. Found our foundation. The foundation. The foundation. The foundation. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen, 96.9 FM Radio, Howard Grant and your company, The Foundation. Foundation, Foundation. It is an absolutely beautiful Thursday afternoon here, live and in full effect. We are at uh, two days with no incidences, incidences, right? Can we say that? You remember we talked about this? This sort of an idea where, um, you know, when you find yourself in an industrial uh, space, so they say X amount of days with no instances, right? No issues. I think we're at two or three days. Let's continue to be able to cross our fingers and say a prayer. Let's be hopeful. I think that that's what we continue to be able to do during this time and dispensation. Amen? Somebody talk to me. Let's be hopeful that we could be able to remain in this kind of a position. But I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Like last week, we did something uh, and started this kind of an introduction to a concept where we talked about customer service, where we took on this kind of a perspective and this posture for being able to shift the type of customer service that we received in our community, right? We talked about that. We talked about the introduction of that customer service and how our expectations and requirements as servicemen, and those persons who participate in your service, uh, we require a little bit better from you. I won't be as decent as possible as to introducing you to this new segment for customer service, right? So we're going to be talking about customer service every week Thursday. And what I need from you is this. 
To participate, send me a voice note. Okay? Make sure the thing is no longer than 30 seconds long. I know y'all just talking guts out. Don't fight me. Uh, make sure it's not longer than 30 seconds. Let's be as decent as possible when we put that information out there and ensure that we don't talk about... We, we're, not, we're not out here to take bread out of people's mouth. That's not what the objective is. The idea and the desire is for being able to talk about what our expectations are when we walk into your space. So describe the best you can about the service that is rendered in these particular spaces and let persons know that your expectation is for them to be able to raise the bar just a bit. Let's talk about that. All right. We talked about it with the introduction where I told you, which I consider a very, very, very good friend. But the model of his business changed. And when I said something about it, it became like sort of an offensive thing. Right. There has to be a space for maturity in business. And I want to be able to introduce that to you. So you're going to have to hit me up with a 30-second voice note right on my 827, 8270111. And we're going to take that voice note that you put and we're going to create a segment at the end of our show on Thursdays. At the end of the show, the last 10, 15 minutes of the show, we're going to take that segment and play it on the air. All right? So um, uh, if you say, I would uh, fix my voice. I don't want nobody to know my voice. I can fix that. I can do it in advance. You don't have to call into the show. We don't have to do these things. We'll just play your 30 second clip about your customer service experience. All right. Now, remember, this don't always have to be negative. We're not all here to bash people. We only want you to know this is constructive criticism. And we can be able to render praises. For instance, the gentleman who... God knows he's a godsend to the Royal Bahamas Police Force. Every time you're driving from Milo Butler and you're late for work because <laughs> you was trying to cook grits, you was trying to cook grits or whatever in the morning, you say, no, no, no I want tuna and grits. And you start to cook it, but forget the time. Now you're rushing and you see this big line. And for, for some reason, the thing keeps flowing. That is the officer. I need to know this man's name. He's a good, decent man. We need to give him a, a community award. For his participation of course he's just doing his job but nonetheless he is diligent in his commitment to do his job this is what we want to do we want to highlight those persons who are uh, excellent at what they do and we want to be able to encourage those persons who are not so good at what they do you want money but you don't know how to talk to people you're out here, you got the place smelling like stew fish and grits. You bring in crab to the, to the people place and you know you're a receptionist. You got it under there trying to every day. Come on, man, it's too much. This is not customer service. You're working in the bank and chewing gum like a horse while you're trying to be able to serve me. You're not supposed to chew gum when you are providing customer service. Please know this, okay? Yeah, well, how are you thinking? The elevator, you're thinking we're in the hotel. Listen. Right is right and wrong is wrong. We're talking about a standard for customer service. Wherever you are in the country, be on alert. Here on the foundation, we're going to describe and identify the lackluster customer service that we got from your establishment. Or we're going to be able to talk about how great your customer service was. So Thursdays is the time. And if you have that, please send that to me at any time. I'm going to be sending some stuff out to on the 8270111. If you want to participate in that, please hit me up, 8270111. I can send you the information to be able to, to, so you can attach yourself to that and know exactly what's what. It's all about customer service. Sometimes people don't take talent. So, Grammy say you can know what lobster red for. That's what this is. Subpar food. People finding all kind of hair and thing in their food. All kind of dish net, why the whole bag and the food, all these things, the inconsistency and your expectation to receive my money and your inability, you fight me down. When I tell you this, this is the right now, you're going to put that in there. Oh, miss, miss, you think I got time to play with y'all? This is what we're talking about. Okay? Knowing how to deal with your customers. We as a society have a requirement. There is a standard that we must live up to. There is no way that we could render this service to others externally and accept the hogwash that you give us internally. The devil is a liar. That's not how we live in this society. 
Well, good for Peter, good for Paul. And customer service starts on the inside. Let's change the culture and the nature of customer service internally. Send me your voice notes, no longer than 30 seconds. And tell me about your customer service experience. Remember, this is constructive criticism. They say, man, how would man, these people is the worst, Jesus, and you ain't telling me nothing. Tell me about the experience. Break it down the best you can. Maybe I need to give you all more than 60, uh, 30 seconds. Maybe I need to give you 60 seconds. Do it the best you can and the little amount of time that you can. Let me put that on the air and talk about those things. Guys, I want to thank you so very kindly for tuning in with us today. It's been a great, 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 great opportunity to be able to talk about those things. I want to shout out to, again to the Antibody and Rally Mule to be able to make sure and pick, check that out. Uh, it's going to be from 2.30 until 9.30 tomorrow, Friday. They got great 